I'm sitting here in Gordon Castle, um, which is a, a house that's been in my family for many centuries. Zara and I took over um, the running of the estate in 2008. We soon realised that um, actually it, it was not sustainable in the form that it had been run for many years. It had been run as a private house um, and then on a sort of um, maintenance basis for many years. So the first thing we did um, was to do up the castle to make it a five-star, we'd like to say six-star, exclusive use property that we rent out um, to corporates, to people having birthday parties, weddings, and of course to people that come and fish the river. Our attention then turned to a wall garden, which is a magical space, probably the biggest wall garden in Scotland, um, productive wall garden in Scotland, it's about eight acres. So our initial idea was to try and build, and this is still our idea by the way, um, to try and build a global Gordon Castle Scotland brand with Gordon Castle Scotland products that are unique to us because they contain something from the estate or from our wall garden. It soon became apparent that actually if our products were successful people might want to come and visit um, and if they're going to come and visit, which we're encouraging them to do, we should give them what my wife calls the, the classic visitor experience, which is um, a view, a brew and a loo. So we built a restaurant, invested a lot of money in building a restaurant, which I'm happy to say has um, been very successful. So by doing what we've done both down here and actually up at the Wall Garden with a, a separate business up there, we've moved the employment the local employment from approximately 20 on the estate, a lot of which were gillies uh, and groundsmen and things like that, um, to about 65. I guess the biggest surprise was how long it takes anything to get done. And actually it's taken us a long time to get where we got and probably not where I wanted to be at this stage. We still have got a long way to go. Um, and I think I was a bit naive in that, frankly. Um, and so naivety is good, but I think as long as you're positive about these things, you can um, take it to the next level and, and, and succeed. So, so um, all of us here are very much optimists and glass half full people, despite the challenges. And the challenges have been, uh, of course, there are all sorts of niggling challenges, whether it be the planning authorities or the um, licensing authorities or whatever it is. We were lucky to begin with, A, we've got this rather magical place. Um, and B, that I was in a position to be able to invest some money into trying achieving that. Having said that, um, you know, if one A didn't have the, the place and B didn't have the, um, the, 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 the means to a certain extent, I mean, I think the advice is that actually a lot of the Sc Scottish agencies can be very helpful. And we were certainly helped in the building of our cafe through the um, SRDB programme. But I think there is lots of advice available and if one can take it, that is good. Um, I think that one needs to probably be a lot better planned than I ever was. I've slightly, or we have slightly done everything um, without any very long business plans and, and detailed plans. I've, I and we have known exactly where we want to get to, but it has been slightly um, ducking and diving on a daily basis, which has been great and it's meant that we can be very flexible. But I think if I did it again, um, we would do it in a, in a much more ordered way. Advice to other people is that it will take longer, be more expensive, be quite stressful um, and with no guarantee of success. But it's very rewarding. Um, it's good fun to get up for a different challenge every day. And I think that um, you know, the opportunities out there for all things Scottish, but also all things heritage, all things natural, all things with provenance, all things um, with um, enthusiasm and that sort of thing behind them, um, you know, the opportunities are enormous. Um, we can make it very special.